friend that has betrayed you in the past, this video is for you. If you've had a boyfriend or something that cheated on you or something, and this video is for you. If you have someone. <laughs> issues and a face. Thank God I'm over it. And because of that, I'm going to be sharing what I went through and how I got over it. Yes, I went through material. Some of my friends and business partners and work partners were acting up. They were really acting up. And before then, I always felt like there's nothing like haters. There is nothing like haters. Everybody loves me and I'm a cool person. And if I thought I have a problem with somebody, then this is my problem and I have to fix it. That was my mentality before then but then for some reasons the people that were close to me had issues with me and some of them even cut me off and some of them i understood that they were toxic and i cut them off so this whole thing was lingering in my mind so much that i felt like i was a bad person and no matter what i say in my videos there will be no one that can relate to it anybody that watch my video is going to be those like like my friends like my business partners and those people they will just look at me and hate me so for that reason, I just felt like, I can't do this. I wanted to, but I couldn't. Even when I had like moved on, like forgotten about all of those things and tried to move on, anytime I stood it in front of my camera, those things just come back to my head. Like, oh, if this person is watching this video, what would this person say? And it was just really bugging me. So eventually I had to sit back and analyze that issue. But the funny thing is that I did not even try to analyze the issue. I was like, um, it's no problem. Until I started having trust issues with my new friends and even with myself. And I figured out that mm -mm -mm, this is a real, real big thing that I have to say and solve it. So now I'm going to share with you how I solved this problem. One thing you have to understand is do not have unrealistic expectations about people. I was so unrealistic in my expectations. I felt that if something is good for somebody and it's not good for me, because you're my friend, don't do it. But truly, that's not how this world works. That's not how people do stuff. Maybe just our parents, maybe, or our family members. Or you are talking about your friend. If the stuff is good for them and it's not good for you, they'll think about themselves first before they start to think about you. So I just understood that truly, I just Stop expecting unrealistic expectations from people. Then another thing that I finally like told myself that I had to do was forgive them truly. I I had to give myself closure. If I could call them and be like, why did you do this? Give me a reasonable explanation of why you did this, that would have been better. But a lot of them sort of ran away from me or we sort of cut ourselves off and stuff like that. So I did not have the opportunity to ask them what happened. It was just, I had to just let it go. Forgive them and understand that they're human. But you know, that forgiveness part is one. Understanding them is another thing. You just need to understand that people are doing them. They're just themselves. Important of all of this point is that you are ready to move on. You're ready to forget about what they have done or what you have done and want to just get over every single thing. You want to forgive yourself and just let go of any form of guilt. That is how you can move on from being betrayed. Because in our daily activities and with meeting different people in this world, from your workplace to school to your friends to your relationship, you're going to have people that hurt you. You're going to be betrayed. And sometimes you're even going to think that you have been betrayed when you have not been betrayed. It's just it's just normal. And 
I feel like this is a thing that is general with ladies. Ladies are very critical thinkers. We are emotional, though people have different levels of being emotional. Some are very, very emotional, others are like a little bit. But women are generally very emotional. So because of that, you have to learn how to let go of guilt when you feel like someone has betrayed you, you've done something wrong, whatever. Just let it go. Sweetest, the sweetest part that I even like the most is some people are going to not like you for no reason. They just wake up, they see you glowing, you're happy, you're doing good. You're just being confident in who you are. You're, you're bringing out those your imperfections and you're owning up to it. For that reason, they will not like you. And it's not your problem, that is your own problem. So get over it, and that is how I got over that. And I'm here to make tons of videos. And truly, I don't even know where to start from. Before I made this video, I was thinking, you guys want me to explain to you how I created this look, how I did my makeup look, or is it a skincare routine you want, or is it Nigerian food recipes you want me to share with you? I even had someone saying something about um, what I think about feminism because I'm totally against feminism and I have very, very good proofs and evidences of why I'm against them. So I'm definitely going to be analyzing that part. No, I have something to share with you. By God's grace, this is going to be the last video I'll be doing alone. I hate to be on a video alone. It kills the whole vibe and having to actually talk with somebody and listen to their own opinion too. So yes, I have friends. All of them are on girls' code and I'm going to be picking them one by one. They're going to come on this show with me and we're going to be analyzing so many issues together. And that is going to be the back-to-back -back girls' code episodes. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have watched this video till the end, I am so grateful. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video, share it with some other friends. Tell people that are going through betrayal or people that are having anxiety or depression just because someone broke their heart or because a friend left them or because someone just made them feel like your imperfection is the reason why they should leave you. No, but it's not. If anybody leaves you alone, it's not because of your imperfection. And truly, I want to I just want to talk about this. The betrayal I'm talk talking about is not boyfriend betrayal. Yes, that's included, but it is not Basically, boyfriend material. I feel like that one you just do the ah, relationship, get over relationship, get back to business. That's how I feel. But when it comes to your friends, your business partners, people at your workplace, that is more devastating. People that try to hinder your promotion at work and all of those things, and you call them your friends, that is more, much, much more devastating. So, thank you so much for watching my video. Every single day